welcome back to my channel. Let's just go ahead and address the obvious. My hair is in these like, really big jumbo braids right now because I am trying to let my edges breathe. My hair is actually not done. I actually need to fix the ends. If you've ever worn a frontal for longer than two weeks, you know that your edges need to breathe, okay? Otherwise, you will end up with missing edges. They're growing back, thank goodness. We're preserving, we are in preservation mode right now. I refuse to have no edges, <laughs> okay? We're gonna do a full face using Beauty Bakery. If you guys don't know, Beauty Bakery just launched their new foundation, which is called the Cake Mix Foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. Isn't this adorable? Sorry if the camera is not um, <clears throat> moving as quickly as it usually does. I'm using my camera today which is my vlog camera, so if it doesn't look as good as it usually does, I am so sorry. First of all, if you don't know about Beauty Bakery, Beauty Bakery is a black owned woman owned business. It is a kind of indie brand and it's been around since 2011. The owner, Kashmir, she, first of all, she created the brand for black women, um, for women of color. Well, she created it with them in mind. I won't say she created it for just them because there are a wide range of products for all skin tones and all types of people. Um, but specifically, she does cater to our needs and her products are really, really long lasting. So most of her products are known to be waterproof, bulletproof, apocalypse proof. The whole line is bakery inspired, obviously. So it's all sweets and baking inspired. And that is just so adorable to me. Everything that they've come out with is just a spot on. She fits the theme with everything and I love that. Um, so the cake mix foundation is no exception. The box is basically a cake mix box. You can open it up and see the foundation in here. So it says, our cake mix foundation is a medium to full coverage, demi matte foundation infused with vitamin E, oil free and lightweight cake mix foundation lets you bake your cake without eating it too. Get a smudge free baked beet with wake and bake face oil prep cake mix foundation and a dash of flour setting powder. And then on the other side, there's the nutrition facts. So it tells you exactly what's in the foundation. It, it is vegan. There's no calories, no gluten, no parabens, vitamin E and smudge proof. There's the ingredients that you need to do your whole face. And then there's the instructions for how to use the foundation. The foundation comes in, I believe 40 shades. 30 or 40 shades, it's a lot for the first launch. She's not playing games with y'all, okay? What I really think is cool about the uh, foundation shade range is that it starts from dark and it goes all the way to light. Usually the lighter shades is like one, two, three, and then we get to the darker shades and it's like 800. It kind of flips the script a little bit and says, oh, you know, dark skin doesn't have to be last, we can be first. I was having a teensy bit of a problem picking out my shade because it's online of course she does have a whole shade matching chart where you can like find which foundation you are in another brand and then match your shade i ended up like changing my mind after i ordered it i was like wait i don't think i'm that shade so i ordered another shade so when i got my packages i was like in the first package that I got, I got the, the second foundation shade that I ordered, which was number 17. So yeah, they sent me this card and it says, um, since this is your first order, we're giving you the next closest match to your shade and a blending egg for the freeze. And that is just amazing to me. That's so sweet to send a whole, to get two foundations for the price of one. Who would have thunk? So yeah, this was my first order. I got two foundations and a blending egg, which is basically like a beauty blender. Um, it feels really, really soft, and I've heard that these work really well in conjunction with the concealers and the foundations. So, I will be trying this today too. In my original order, I felt like the shade that I ordered was too light in my original order, which is why I ended up getting 17, because I ordered 23. And then they also sent me number 21. I ended up ordering a lot of other things because I wanted to do a full face. So I ordered a full set of the blending eggs. This is what the blending egg carton looks like. Isn't this cute? First of all, this is a whole carton of blending eggs. It is not one, not two, not three, not four, not five but six blending eggs for the price of one beauty blender. So you get six of these for $18 as opposed to getting one beauty blender for $20. Um, I already have the concealer, so I didn't have to order that. And I've been using it for about a month and a half now and I really, really do enjoy this concealer. I ordered their mascara. This is the eyelash icing. I also got another lip whip. I originally had a lip whip 
Uh, but I wanted to get a new one. This is the color fortune cookie. Also got uh, the baking oil because they say that the baking oil is really good for the foundation to help blend it out better. This is the coffee and cocoa palette. And then I also ordered the do it for the gram eyeshadow palette. I think that's so adorable. Look at that. The pans are really big for these eyeshadows. So I'm going to do the oil. Um, it says perfect for all skin types. Vegan baking oil will leave your complexion hydrated and glowing. Gently massage two to three drops onto clean skin. Allow baking oil to absorb before applying makeup. So I'm going to put this on my face and let this sink in while I decide which foundation to use because I have four freaking foundations and don't know which one is my shade. All right, I'm gonna drop one, two, three. It smells like oil. Honestly, all of my face oils smell the same. They smell pretty much the same. They have a very light fragrance. It just kind of smells like natural fruits and things. I am horrible at opening things. I'm trying to open this cute so that I don't mess it up. So this is number 21. This is 21. That looks kind of red, so we'll see. Can y'all see that? That's 21. Oh no, wait. 23 is looking a little more on the golden side. It'd be more like me. This is 23. And I'm gonna blend it right next to 21. And I think 17 may be too dark. It's really hard to tell just looking at the packaging. Actually, 21, no, 21 is too red. 21 is more on the red side. 17 is a little bit darker. Number 17 is a little bit darker. That's definitely gonna be too dark for me. I'm gonna go with number 23. So if you guys wanted to win these foundations, I can give them away. So from what I know about the concealer, the concealer dries super, like when I tell you it dries lightning quick, it's lightning quick. Like when you put it on your face, you have to blend it within the first two seconds. I'm thinking with the foundation, it's probably going to be the same situation. Um, so I'm gonna try to move as quickly as possible. I actually feel like these foundations, this foundation is a little I may need to go a shade up. They're odd numbers, so I, I may need to do maybe like 25. I'm gonna use a brush um, to apply it on one side of my face, and then I'm gonna try it with the sponge on the other side. Sponge is wet and it gets nice and big. So that's what she said. Now time for the main course. Give it a shake before you cake. Apply a few drops of cake mix to the center of your face and blend outwards. Gently tap in the foundation, stippling, not rubbing to avoid not so sweet streaks. I am going to work on one side of my face first and then do the other side. Apply and I'm gonna start blending out with the back of the beauty blender. And I think the oil is definitely helping, helping this foundation go on a lot quicker. And she's a little orange. So this is one pump with the sponge. I'm gonna do one pump on this side and I'm gonna use a brush that definitely applies it to the product a lot more full coverage. So what I would say is if you like a sheerer coverage, this is definitely not, whoa, I am orange. But I definitely feel like this foundation is a medium to full coverage. It is not full right off the bat unless you do use a brush um to apply it if you use a sponge it will be medium it's not really showing on camera how orange this is on me but my face is very very tan and my neck is not that tan however i like the i'm going to blend some more on my forehead you actually don't have to work as fast as you think you do if you use the oil if you don't use the oil i would still try to work really fast i feel like if you didn't use the oil you would probably have a hard time blending this out when I put it on my hand, it dried really quickly. So I'm liking the coverage of this foundation. It looks nice. 
it looks really good actually. This is a beautiful foundation. Maybe I should keep 21 just in case, but I'm for sure definitely, definitely not gonna be 17 or 19. This is me on a tan day. And clearly, as you can see, my neck and my face do not match. We're gonna concealer the heck out of my face though. So I still wanna test out the foundation. I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. This is Procaffeinating Cake Face Concealer. I'm just gonna do what I normally do and swipe this onto my face. And I'm gonna work really quickly. The blending egg, I feel like, is doing a great job of blending out the products. It's it's definitely not soaking up too much product, still leaving enough. It's not as squishy as Beauty Blender is, but I do like it because it is working well for the products. I feel like a Beauty Blender would be too gentle. I'm gonna blend the concealer out on this side using a brush just to test out the Yeah, so the oil is helping. It's even helping the concealer. When I'm trying to blend this concealer and I'm not using the oil, it is very hard to blend and sometimes it can come out really patchy because I didn't blend it fast enough. So I definitely feel like the oil helps a lot to really get the concealer to apply well to your face. So now I'm going to use the flower setting powder. I wish I had the original packaging that the setting flower comes in, because it's so cute. Um, it's like a little flower bag. But this is the flower setting powder. I have the yellow one, and I'm gonna set my entire face with it. I usually don't set my entire face with this powder, but I feel like if I use it on my actual entire face, it'll kind of help to lighten up my foundation a little bit. So I'm gonna set my under eyes with this and let that bake for a bit. I feel like this powder, I've been using this powder nonstop um, for like the past month or so, and I really, really enjoy it. It is the perfect shade of yellow. It's not too yellowy orange, you know? Um, it's not chalky. It doesn't leave my face feeling dry or caked up. You know, like the Ben Nye banana powder kind of does. I definitely recommend the powder. I'm gonna keep the 23. I think if I keep the 23, I can always you know, use it when it when I get darker in the summertime, because I do get a little darker in the summer, especially when I go out of town for vacation and come back, I usually have a very, very nice tan. So I should be 23 after I tan. Um, but in the wintertime, no sis. I also don't typically wear matte foundations in the wintertime. But this doesn't feel like a matte though. The, like after having it on for a minute or two, I feel like this foundation is a very good demi matte like it says, it's not like, I don't feel, cause some matte foundations make you feel stiff. This feels very lightweight and breathable. Like I don't feel it. I could just use a darker foundation to contour my face. I don't want to open them though. I just would rather give it away and not touch it. So I'm going to use my regular um, contouring stick and that is Truffle by Fenty. And I'm gonna go ahead and just slide that in the places where I would normally contour. But I am really liking how everything feels so far. It looks good, but it feels great. I'm gonna be trying out their face palettes today. This is the Cocoa and Coffee and Cocoa. The foundation actually doesn't look bad now that I've like highlighted and stuff. Hopefully it doesn't oxidize. I don't think it will. I cannot freaking open things. I don't want to tear it up, but I'm a horrible opener. <sighs> Sorry, packaging. I'm gonna destruct the con. So this palette, like I said, is very, very similar to the Huda Beauty palette. This is what it looks like. This is what the Huda um, Bronze Sands looks like, and this is what the Coffee and Cream looks like. So this one actually has a cream in it. So it's a little different. They're not dupes. Yeah, but they have similar shades. So Deja Brew looks kind of like it is a contour shade for lighter skin people. I'm gonna try Anti Depresso. That looks a little dark, but we're gonna try it. Oh, that is dark. Ooh. Be careful with her, honey. Yeah, these are dark. If you are a dark skinned woman, this palette is gonna be perfect for you for bronzing, for sure. Because it is, it's great for deep tones. I'm gonna blend that out using Deja Brew 
but that's definitely too dark for me. I'm gonna use your grounded to highlight. Mm. Ooh, that's a nice highlight. Ooh, she's pretty. I'm scared to use this uh, blush shade, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I feel like it's gonna be very pigmented. It is. Ooh. Like I'm literally just using a tap of this. Um, you would probably never run out of product. Oh yes, honey. She's pigmented. That is coffees and cream. You guys know I am not an eyeshadow person. I bought the eyeshadow palette because I just wanted to try. And I honestly just bought it for this yellow shade right here. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna use any any type of primer or anything. I kind of already have foundation on my lid, so I feel like that should suffice. And we're gonna just dust it on the eye, and oh my Jesus, she is bright. If you're a more precise person, you can do your whole little eye look that you like to do, but. I'm a one shadow kind of girl. I'm gonna do my brows really quickly. There is a brow product, but they were sold out of my color. So I'm gonna do my brows off camera and I will be back. Now I'm going to use the mascara. Ooh, I like wands like this. This is a bubbly wand. It's wavy. Do you see that? It seems to be not grabbing a whole lot of product. I feel like this mascara would be really good for bottom lashes though. It's not picking up a ton of product. Yeah, mm. the mascara is okay. It's not my favorite. I'm actually gonna use my other mascara. So this is the Lip Whip in the color Fortune Cookie. I'm gonna put a liner down first. If they say that you don't need a liner with this, but this is a lighter shade. I'm actually going to put a little of this oil on my lip. Since I have on a full face, I feel like I should do a lash. I'm gonna put on a lash. So, this is my finished face. I'm gonna do a wear test to show you guys how long the products last. It is currently two o'clock, so I will be back around nine-ish. My face feels good. I'm gonna do a transfer test. Um, so now that it's dried and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and use a paper towel to see how it transfers, so. This is the paper towel, guys. I mean, I, I just like, tried to, I mean, pretty impressive. When they say it's baked onto your face, it is baked, honey. It ain't going nowhere. All right, so I'll be back later, share with you guys what how my foundation, what's that? I'll be back, I will be back, bye. <laughs> Approximately 10 hours later. Hola. Um, I'm gonna do an update really quickly and go to bed because I'm sleepy. This is how my face looks after, what time is it? Uh, it's almost 11 o'clock. I haven't blotted or anything. Granted, I only have on oil underneath this foundation. I don't have on any primer or anything. Um, as far as like the oiliness, um, I'm not extremely oily. Um, and my foundation has stayed on. It stayed put for the most part. It didn't get darker. Uh, I don't notice it being darker. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can definitely tell in my mirror that I am warmer than I usually am. So just a little too warm for me. It's it To me, it doesn't match my chest and my neck very well, which is what I tend to like, is a foundation that matches my, check, my neck and my chest, if anything. Um, I know my face is not gonna be the same color all the time, but um, you know, for the most part, I prefer that it does. I definitely think that once I am out in the sun more, this foundation may match me perfectly. So um, I looked on the site to see if they had another foundation shade that I could try, but of course they're all sold out. So I'm gonna stick with 23 
for now. I actually think I might try 21 as well to see how that one works for me, but I think 23 might be my my closest match. When I figure it out, I'll let y'all know. Other than that, I like the foundation. You know, I like the consistency of it. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my face. It doesn't feel cakey at all, despite the name. Um, and it's a very, very um, smooth and yeah it just looks really good i haven't creased up at all you guys know i usually get laugh line creases um and i don't see any creasing in my laugh lines no creasing in my forehead and i have a very animated forehead so i have no creasing in there um my under eyes i mean i've already told you that i love the concealer because the concealer does not crease it stays put um it doesn't move once it sets it does not move and i think the same thing for the foundation the only thing that i don't really I don't really care for um was the palette the um the coffee and cream palette didn't really care for that because of the shade and the eyeshadow uh definitely creased up on me a lot but that's because i didn't put anything on my lids to hold it down my lipstick is still on and i ate dinner and everything and my lipstick is still there i was so sure that it would be gone by now but it definitely held up of course you would use like blotting paper or something but I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to pat my face and see how it looks after I kind of give myself a good de-oil, de-slick. Um, yeah, this foundation definitely gets an A plus for me. I mean, I don't have any problems with it. I think it's great. I think it'll be awesome for the um for the summertime um, as far as longevity goes. And like, if you go to pool parties, something like that, if you're in humid climates, your makeup's definitely not gonna sweat off or move. You will get a little bit oily, but like I said, a little bit of oil never hurt anybody, okay? Um, as long as your makeup's not sliding off or moving, you should be fine. What's worth buying and what's worth skipping? I would say definitely try the foundation and the concealer. I think the Wake and Bake oil is necessary to apply the foundation and concealer. However, another oil or um, if you have like the Farsali or the um, MAC essential oils or um, Smashbox primer oil, something like that, that may work just the same. I don't actually have proof of that because I haven't tried it yet, but I will try that and let you guys know how I feel about it. I feel like any oil will pretty much, any face makeup oil primer type deal will work for you. So if you have something like that, go ahead. If not, um, then try the baking oil. Um, so I think those face products all together work marvelously, including the, the powder, the flower powder. The sponges, I would say if you don't have Beauty Blender already, you should definitely go ahead and pick up a carton of sponges. It's the same price, you get six of them. But if you already have Beauty Blenders, you don't need to grab these unless you're just really looking to get some new ones. Uh, yeah, as far as the palettes go, not a must have i wouldn't get the palettes I, I got the palettes just to do the full face for the purpose of this video but you definitely don't have to get the palette um i mean hey listen i think everything was worth trying for the most part but my takeaway i would definitely say do the foundation if you do the foundation make sure that you watch some other videos to see which shade you might be because you don't want to order something and then get the wrong shade the foundation is sold out currently um but if you have a riley rose near you there may be some in stores um otherwise you're just gonna have to wait for the restock like the rest of us i want to get the right shade so um i'll let you know um the verdict once i get the right shade for me other than that that is all i will talk to you guys in my next video okay i'm gonna go wash this off um and go to bed because your girl is tired okay so see you later